Welcome, I'm Akosi Network. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be updating you on the things we already know but now have been 100% confirmed. And also, just to let you know, God, guys, during this season, please, 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 please be careful of fake news. Fake, fake news is all over. And the moment people put the name Kaiser Chiefs, it becomes almost real news, but it's still fake. People are selling their players using Kaiser Chiefs because they know Kaiser Chiefs is in the market. You know what? Sometimes being a big team comes with these kind of problems. It's a nerdy team. Anyway, before we get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. On the road to 5K, please, guys, let's push, let's push. Can we get to 5K before the season starts? I don't know, but I see a push. I was a push. I see a push. But anyway, before we get into anything, guys, thank you for the support of the on the channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Noma, Ose, Limpopo, Mozambique, Nasezim, even them. We appreciate the support. But anyway, let's get into that. Guys, Chiefs today confirmed the, the, the uh, basically our technical team, the five of the members, the goalkeeper coach, the Nabi, the two assistants, and um, the physical coach. I don't know all of their names. Uh, Mina, I would be lying to you. I just know there's Nabi. The goalkeeper is AA is something. I don't know. The uh, uh, Cruz Nyamaz. Nyamaz Cruz. Fernando the Cruz Nyamaz. Um, hey, but it, that other one is such jeep what do I, I you know what we're going to have to learn these names but we're going to have to learn guys let us make it a project that we learn these names but anyway one other thing i wanted to tell you about apparently now it's been said that the kit that we've all been seeing is the leaked kit apparently it's a fake kit that's what people are saying i don't know well that's what they're saying chief said on instagram i went on instagram i looked for what when Chief said that kid that is floating on social media is not the real kid i looked i couldn't find so me at this point i don't know if that kid is real and i don't know if it's fake Chiefs is saying the real kit is going to be launched around the 25th of july so that is when the real real case achieves kids are gonna be released so I don't know. I don't know if these kits are real or fake. Then why would someone create that fake kit? Like why? It looks it looks real to me, but then people are saying it's fake. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Another thing I wanted to update you on is the fact that in terms of players, the Fiston Maela rumor is still out there, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's happening. And for me, it's it, I, you guys know my rant from yesterday. I was like, like Nabi and them know how big of a project Chiefs is. Chiefs is a big, big project. And because Chiefs is a big project, the players we currently have in camp, I don't think are good enough. But one thing I'll say, I'm going to give management, um, not case, not management, I'm going to give the technical team, Abu Nabi, the benefit of the doubt. Chiefs fans have over the years been complaining that they are tired of management signing them players. They want the technical team to sign them players. So during this season, Maybe it's not it's in Nabi and him, them's hands. They are getting maybe they've been shown Apollis as a player. Maybe they've been shown Velibai as a player. Maybe they are going over them. But during this period, maybe you know what's happening. Maybe Nabi has the final say. And because Nabi hasn't had a real chance till this week to see the case the Chiefs team, he can't just say, "Go by uh, Apollis." Go buy Vili buy, go buy this, go buy that. He wants to assess the team over the Turkey trip. And when the Turkey trip comes, he's uh, when the Turkey trip ends, which is like on the 18th of July, somewhere there, when they finish their assessment of the full squad, he's going to get there and be like, okay, Kezar Modawan, um, you see this boy, uh, ma -mashe, machine, machine, no, machine, machine must go. Um, he's not a good left back, and then he's gonna go and say, um, "How much you say you buy him tetra for?" Mm -mm -mm. It's a problem. And then you see, maybe he's going through that process, and then he'll. They're also during this time will be going through the list that Kaiser Chiefs has like given them. So maybe he will be like, "I like Apollis. Um, I, I like uh, I like Apollis. I like Velibai, uh, Alice Mugwana I don't like, uh, like uh, I watch uh, Amakosi Network and they say hey, Velibai is not the one, I mean uh, Elias uh, Mugwana is not the one, so maybe that's what's going to happen, is it a good thing for us to know that the coach will sign a player that fits what he wants 
that is a good sign a very good sign why am i saying this if you ever look at coaches who have done well in the psl gavin hunt Stuart Baxter, when he first came to Chiefs, first came to Chiefs. What did Stuart Baxter do when he first came to Chiefs? He brought all the players he wanted. Abo, Morgan Gold, and all of those players. Um, Rulani Mukwena has done well, despite what people think he's done well. U Rivero, um, I don't know if he's part of the signing of players, because a lot of the players he found, the Paris had already bought for him. But these coaches that I mentioned, have had an influence in the team that they select. Even Pito himself, Pito Musiman himself, they are players he, that he wanted and, and the, the team called for him. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes you need the coach to have an input because there are certain, there's a certain kind of player you want. For example, Stuart Baxter didn't like a Ngosin Pilenobo. Why? Ngosin Pilenobo is slow, but he's an attacker. What Stuart Baxter liked, he liked the George Lipisis, the Manta Masangos, the Kamabilias, the Kiganto. These guys who are just fast attackers, fast attackers. The only person who was allowed to be somewhat slow was Yeye Litsulunyan. But Yeye wasn't even slow. But because he played a specific position, he didn't have the requirement to be fast. And that's why Nkosin Pilengoba had a problem. Because there was always a gap with Nkosin Pilengoba. When he's in the front, he can't defend. When he's defending, he can't attack. So that was the problem with Nkosin Pilengoba. But hopefully, Nazaruddin Nabi can unlock this boy. Because I will always say this, and I'm going to end this on this note. The coach that can unlock Nkosin Pilengoba's full potential will be the coach who wins the league, who will be the coach who wins cups, will be the coach who changes Chiefs around. And those coaches don't often exist because Nkosin Pilengobo is talent. But if you don't know how to work that talent, you will never get the best out of him. Never. I'm a cause for life.